Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, we have a system of logarithmic equations to solve, that is simultaneous log equations. And to solve this system, we are going to begin with the first equation. Now, when you look at this equation, you'll see that we have log to base y of x. And here we have log to base x of y. You may be tempted to change bases to make sure that the bases of these two logarithms are the same, but do not do that. All you need to remember to simplify this first equation is the identity log to base a of b is equal to 1 over log to base b of a. This is all you need to remember. And when you apply this identity to the first equation, you're going to have that log to base y of x plus 1 over log to base y of x is equal to 5 over 2. Now, we have log to base y of x and log to base y of x. And of course, let log to base y of x be equal to d. With this substitution, this equation becomes d plus 1 over d is equal to 5 over 2. Let us further simplify this equation by multiplying through by 2 times d. So here we have times 2d. d times 2d is 2d squared. 1 over d times 2d. d is going to cancel d, leaving us with 2. 5 over 2 times 2d. 2 is going to cancel 2, leaving us with 5d. When we rearrange this equation, we have 2d squared. This will come over to the left-hand side and become minus 5d. And we still have plus 2, and everything is now equal to 0. We have a quadratic equation, and we can factorize this equation. We have 2 d squared minus 5d plus 2 is equal to 0. Now the factors of 2d squared are d and 2d. And the factors of 2 are 2 and 1. But because of this negative sign, let us make this minus 2 and minus 1. Because you know that minus 2 times minus 1 will also give us plus 2. Now let us check. d times minus 1 is minus d. And 2d times minus 2 is minus 4d. And minus 4d minus d is minus 5d. So we have that the factors of this quadratic equation are d minus 2. And 2d minus 1. And of course this is equal to 0. From here... We have that either d minus 2 is equal to 0, which implies that d is equal to 2, or 2d two minus 1 is equal to 0, which implies that 2d is equal to 1, and d is equal to half. So you can see that now we have two values for d, 2 and half, and that simply means that Either log to base y of x is equal to 2 or log to base y of x is equal to half. Of course, you know that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that y to the power 2 is equal to x. So from these two statements, we have that either y to the power 2 is equal to x or y to the power half is equal to x. Now coming to the second equation, remember that log a plus log b is equal to log a b. So this left hand side is equal to log x y and of course it's still equal to log 27. Now we have that log xy is equal to log 27. So that simply means that 
xy is equal to 27. So now we have these equations and we have these equations. With this first equation, that is x is equal to y squared, we can substitute into this second equation to get that y squared, that is x, multiplied by y is equal to 27. Of course, this is y to the power 1. And you know that when we have something like this, we simply add the exponents. That is when this is multiplying. So we have y to the power 2 plus 1, which is 3, is equal to 27. To find the value of y, we take the cube root of both sides of this equation. And we have that y is equal to the cube root of 27, which is equal to 3. Now we have a value for y. So we go back to this equation to get the value for x. And we have that x is equal to y squared. That is 3 squared, which is equal to 9. And in the second case, we have that x is equal to y to the power half. Once more, we substitute into this equation. We have that y to the power half multiplied by y to the power 1, of course, is equal to 27. Once more, we add the exponents. When we do that, we have y to the power half plus 1 is equal to 27. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1, 3. So this is y to the power 3 over 2 is equal to 27. Now, to get the value of y, what we do is to raise both sides of this equation to the reciprocal of this power, that is 2 over 3. So we have that y to the power 3 over 2 raised to power 2 over 3 is equal to 27 raised to power 2 over 3. Of course, you know that when we have a situation like this, all we do is to multiply these two powers. And when we do that, we have that this times this is equal to 1. So this implies that y is equal to, here we have the cube root of 27 squared. Let me say it again. The cube root of 27 squared. And of course, the cube root of 27 is 3. And the square of 3 is 9. So once more, we have a value for y, which is 9. And we go on to find the value of x. We have that x is equal to 9 to the power half. That is the square root of 9. And since we are dealing with logarithms, we only take the positive square root. So we have that x is equal to 3. So in the second case, we have x equal to 3 and y equal to 9. Now we have two points that satisfy this system of logarithmic equations. Let us check. Now when we substitute the value of 9 for x in the first equation and the value of 3 for y in the first equation, we have log to base 3 of 9 plus log to base 9 of 3 is equal to, remember that 9 is 3 squared. So we have log to base 3 of 3 squared plus log to base 9. Once more, remember that 3 is the square root of 9. That is 9 to the power half. And of course, you know that we can apply the power law of logarithms to these two terms. That is the law that says that when we have log a to the power b, that this is the same as b times log a. So this is the same as 2 times log to base 3 of 3. And this is the same as half times log to base 9 of 9. And lastly, remember that log to base a of a is equal to 1. So this is 2 times 1, log to base 3 of 3, plus half times 1, log to base 9 of 9. 
So this is 2 plus half. And of course, 2 plus half is equal to 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, 5 over 2. So that is right. And it goes without saying that log 9 plus log 3 is equal to 27 because we know that log 9 plus log 3 is equal to log 9 times 3. And of course, this is equal to log 27. And almost the exact same thing happens for the second point because now we have log to base 9 of 3 plus log to base 3 of 9. Once more, we have log to base 9 of 9 to the power half plus log to base 3 of 3 squared. Once more, we have half times log to base 9 of 9. And once more, we have 2 times log to base 3 of 3. Once more, we have half times 1, which is half, plus 2 times 1, which is 2. And once more, half plus 2 is equal to 5 over 2. So we have that the two points that satisfy this system of logarithmic equations are 9 and 3 and 3 and 9. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.